Hey friends, Christy here from Crafty Christy's Creations and today I'm going to show you how to use the conical warp in Silhouette Studio to apply vinyl on a tapered curved surface like my coffee mug here. So without further ado, let's jump into Silhouette Studio and get started. Okay, so I am using the Coffee Sayings Design Bundle. And I'm going to use this coffee because adulting is hard. I think that'll be fun. So I'm just going to grab the rest of these designs here and move them off the screen. And if you're interested in this bundle, I will leave a link in the description. But let's go ahead, grab this one here. And then we're going to come down here to what looks like um, to the warp panel. And then we're going to come over to the far one that says conical warp. All right. So here you can see it's got all the different ones and then I'm going to select my design and then I'm going to click conical warp selected shape. So it's going to warp what we have here and you can see it already starts with a um, line here based on these dimensions. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out my coffee cup. Okay, so we've got our cup here and let's go ahead and measure it. I've got my little measuring tape and I'm going to measure across the top here and I'm at three and a half. And then I'm going to measure it across the bottom. which is two, uh, 2.75. And then we're gonna measure how tall our cup is. And I'm at 4.5. And now that we've got our coffee cup measured, let's enter our um, measurements in here. So across the top, my coffee cup is 3.5 inches. The bottom was 2.75. And you can see that our shape is already changing based on what we're putting in. And the total height was four and a half inches. Okay, so you can see, oh, and I hit cancel and, ah! Okay, got it back. So and now you can see, let's um, move this over here. Let's move some things around here. I'm going to make this a 12 by 12 and then let's um, move this towards the center here so we can see the whole thing. Okay. So now when I click on it and then now we've got our numbers over here. So again, across the top is three and a half inches across the bottom is 2.75 and it's 4.5 inches tall. And then these bottom ones here is so that I can adjust where I want my, um, my design on here. So I've got about a half inch lip on my coffee cup. So I know I want to come down at least that far, but I am going to bring my design up taller. So that's this bottom one here. And I want it to be pretty much in the center of my coffee cup. So that looks good right there. And I think it's pretty centered left to right. So I like that. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, it doesn't look much different, but it did move things if we zoom in really far. You can see our letters have a slight warp to them, um, a slight kind of arc. And that is just so now when we go to put it on our cup, it's going to lay flat. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom back out. And now that we have that part done, we can click off and then we can just grab our design 
and I can move it up here. Actually, you know what we can do as well? We can increase the size of it. So right now it's 2.9 inches wide. Um, let's make that Mm. Let's do, um, I think three and a half will be good. I'm just going to type that in. Okay. So that looks good. Now I can go ahead and move this up to the top corner. So I'm not going to waste any canvas when I go to cut. And we can come over to our send panel. And now it's just going to cut like normal. I'm going to pick, I'm doing this out of permanent vinyl. And then I'm going to cut all of those pieces out. I'm going to get everything all set up and then we're going to hit send. All right, so I've got my mat already set up here and I'm just going to hit send and we'll start cutting. So while that's cutting, I'm going to go ahead and clean off my mug. So I've just got my rag here. I'm just going to put a dab of rubbing alcohol on it. And the reason we're going to wipe down our mug is so that way there's no lint or um, um, smudging from my fingerprints that is going to get in the way of transferring our vinyl to our mug. So I'm just going to clean off every, anywhere that I think I could be putting this design. Alright, so I'm just going to set that down and when this is done cutting we'll go ahead and weed out our design. All right, so this is all done here. And I did not add a weeding box to this one. I forgot to do that. So um, I am gonna peel this off the mat to do my weeding. Let me just cut this first. And I'm basically just cutting a weed box right now. It's always a good idea to add a weeding box um, it makes it a lot easier and then you can weed all the extra while it's still on the mat, which makes it much easier for weeding. Okay, so I've got that. I'm just gonna put it right here and then we can weed. So I've just got my little poker tool that I got from the dollar store. And I like to start with the outside of my design and because this is really small writing, I am gonna just go nice and slow. These are really thin. Like I already lost the top to the S, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so there's the outside, and then we're just going to grab the inside of our letters here. Okay, got that all weeded. And I am using some Cricut Clear Transfer Tape. Um, I find this 
makes it a lot easier um, when you can't see through the cup to use something that's clear. So I'm just gonna try to put this on nice and straight. And then I'm gonna just burnish this really well. I'm gonna use this end of my little poking tool here. Okay, and then I can just peel this off. If you're having a hard time peeling up um, off the transfer, you could always flip it over and peel it this way and pick the transfer off. Sometimes that's easier. All right, and then with my coffee cup, let's see, I usually hold mine with my left hand, so I'm gonna put it on this side of my cup so it'll show out. And I'm just gonna try to get that centered the best that I can. And now, because we used the curve when we designed it, I don't have to come in here and put all these little cuts into my vinyl because it's already made to curve the text. So when I put it on here, it's going to look straight to begin with. So I'm just gonna press this down really good. So you can see my transfer tape is not straight at all. It's curved, um, but my words are, I think, pretty straight. <laughs> and if they're not straight, that is because I can't do anything on a straight line to save my life. Um, so I promise you, even if it's not straight, it's because of user error and not because the technique didn't work. So I'm just gonna press this on really well. I can bring my tool back in here, press this down, make sure everything is sticking. Okay, and then we can just slowly peel back that transfer tape. Okay, so there we have it. Um, yeah, maybe not completely straight, but again, that is my user error and um, not because of how we did it, that this actually looks very straight here. So that is how you can use the conical warp to add things to a tapered curved surface to get them lined up straight.